today we're gonna do some progressions and I'm specifically making these progressions for my friend Andrea, but it can serve you if you are working through your diastasis recti recovery and you're at that phase where you have the cognitive and the physical ability to ABC, to understand your core engagement in all postures and positions, and you need that next level to work on the strength part of your core stability. So if you're brand new to me, you need to go back and do the original series, go through the course or read the book and figure out where you are on the plane. But as you go through the exit process, you're going to discover that, okay, well now I can lift my head and shoulders or now I can lift both legs, but where do I go without pushing past my own limits? And what's most important, of course, is knowing what feels right for you. So core engagement feels different from um, strain and it feels different from just bracing. Core engagement feels like everything is being held together in the center of your body. And without that, without that feeling of deep core engagement, none of these exercises are gonna work. So you need to go back and do something that leads you to correct core engagement. And if you're struggling with what that means, the course or the book can help you or go through all of my previous material in my classes um, at carryfit.com and practicing, believe it or not, just practicing and just doing it helps lead to that mind core connection and helps bring everything together. So I know I just took a two minute introduction period, but I just wanna make sure nobody is doing this video before they're ready. These are progressions for people who have completed the exit process in the book, Flatten My Postpartum Belly, and or the course, Diastasis Recti Recovery System, okay? And Prince is helping me, obviously. All right, so we're gonna start on our back and we're gonna find that nice deep core engagement. So we zip up from the pubic bone all the way to the sternum. We make sure the ribs are not flaring up toward the sky, but they're closed down right here. We've got this nice internal girdle working for us. So it's a feeling of the navel going up towards the heart, and it's a feeling of the ribs closing in together, and the shoulders are laying flat, the spine is laying flat, everything is being supported by the floor right now. All right, so let's, Grab one knee, pull it in, and then grab the other knee and pull it in. Pull the knees towards each other, inner thighs start to connect, press them together, and pull the knees all the way in until you feel your lower back start to lift off the floor, take a breath, and then as you exhale, set the pelvis down, but don't lift the lower back. So we've got a little extra length there in the lower back and a little love for the pelvis. Now, keeping that core engagement, bring the hands then behind the thighs, and start bringing the knees up over the hips. Press your thighs and your hands into each other without lifting your shoulders and still feeling that navel drawing up and in. Don't lose the core engagement, but slowly start to remove your hands, okay? So how are we doing so far? Are we able to still maintain this core engagement with the knees right over the hips? If not, grab the knees, pull them in, redirect, Go back to a single leg exercise, because double leg exercises is a whole different level. You have to be really well supported in order to do these. And all we're gonna do is tiny. So we're pushing the knees tiny, tiny away, and tiny, tiny in, and exhale. Inhale, push them tiny, tiny away. Exhale, pull them tiny, tiny in. My lower back is not gonna leave the ground. It's just a little tiny lever from the hips I'm adding that extra level of maybe a little extra layer of strength necessary for just these few inches. Your inches are up to you. Lower back on the floor, controlled navel pulling up and in, keeping that very, very mindful feeling. This is not ballistic. We're not just swinging the legs around. It's very intentional. Ribs are closed in, nice and strong through the inner thighs. Exhale as you bring those knees in. Let's do one more. And exhale here. 
Okay, now we're gonna straighten the legs to the best of your ability. Keep those inner thighs together. Grab behind the thighs again and remind yourself of what that feels like. So pressing thighs and hands into each other, nice and strong and zipped up through that lower abdominal. Ribs are tucked in and like pulled in towards each other, not splayed open towards the ceiling. Okay, now we're gonna do a bit of a corkscrew. So again, slowly release the hands and you're gonna circle the legs around using your hips to draw a circle on the floor and your toes to draw a circle on the ceiling and then draw it the other way. Inhale as the feet go away from your nose. Exhale as the feet come up towards your nose. Inhale as the feet go away from your nose. Exhale as the feet come up towards your nose. And it's very controlled. You're drawing this little circle. You're gonna feel the abdominals really controlling what the legs are doing. Go nice and slow. And if you can't control it, then I want you to go back to single leg circles with the other leg laying on the ground supporting you. Exhale as the toes come toward the nose. Breathe in away. Exhale as the meat that comes up. Let's do one more on this side. Exhale up. And one more on the other side. And exhale up. Grab the knees. Pull them in. Give yourself a moment here. Just relax. We're gonna do one more from supine position, which is laying on your back. Take the knees back up over those hips, pressing the thighs and the hands into each other, pressing the inner thighs in towards each other. Now this time the arms are going out to a letter T, so open, out to a letter T, shoulders are down, knees are together. Very important, the knees are going to stay together and aligned with each other and the inner thighs also stay together. So in other words, none of this. Don't slide your knees away from each other. You're gonna lift your hip as you bring your knees to one side, breathing in, and then exhale as you come back towards the center. Inhale to go the other way, take a look. Knees do not leave each other, they don't slide away. Keep them exactly in line with your shoulders on the floor. Exhale to come back up towards the center. Scoop as you come back up. If you get that extra scoop there in the center, it's just that extra layer of strength. Breathe in as they go away. Exhale, really feel that inner working of your core. Pull up and in towards the center. Breathe in as you go the other way. And exhale as you come in towards the center. Let's do one more each way. You can always add on if you want to really focused on deep inner core work. Exhale, as you come back to the center, scoop that navel up, inhale here, and exhale to come back. Grab your knees, pull them in. We're gonna do a couple of exercises from sideline as well. Now, if you've done my series as before, you know that usually on sideline, we're lifting one leg off the floor, okay? Today we're gonna to be lifting both. So this is definitely next level. As you get set, remember, shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip, the side body yearning to lift off of the floor, ribs are tucked, lengthen the lower back until you feel the scooping up of the lowest abdominals and that deep core support here, okay? Keep the inner thighs sealed together, exhale and lift both legs. Inhale lower. Now remember that we want to keep that yearning of lifting from the side. So your range of motion is not going to be big, but it's challenging because it's deeper. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. This hand in front is for support. Keep the legs together if you possibly can. If this is not controllable or you feel like you're falling out in your center, go back to single leg lifts. And then do a couple more here. Exhale. Scoop that belly up and in, inhale down. Let's lift and hold. And then we're just gonna separate and close and separate and close. And every time, I want you to feel that zip up from the pubic bone to the sternum. Here's four, three, here's two, and here's one. And squeeze and then set it down. All right, let's do the other side. So just flip yourself over. Remember, shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip, scooping the ribs together, scooping the lower belly, lengthening the lower back, keeping everything nice and long and controlled. 
and inner thighs press towards each other. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Feel that scoop of the lowest abdominals controlling and helping the legs move. Inhaling down. Couple more to go. Nice and controlled. If you can hover there for a moment, it really helps remind your body of the control it has. And inhale down. Let's hold this one up. And let's open and close. And open and close. Find a breath that works for you. Keep the deepest core muscles drawing up and in. Nice little challenge here. Here's four, three, two, and one, and squeeze, and set it all the way down. Okay, so that's a couple of progressions for you. I want to make sure that you get a handle on those before then moving forward into any next level abdominal work. Let me know what questions you have. And again, I'm here to answer your questions and also carryfit.com answers a lot of them. And there's a series of 85 classes that you can take there. So enjoy and let me know how I can help.